Hey friend, welcome back to the Everyday Energy series. Today, you got some options. You can use one slightly more challenging dumbbell or you can use two moderate ones. I'll talk you through when we get there in case you have options. But I got three moves for you. We're gonna be standing up, then we're gonna be lying down on our backs for a bit. Sound good? Again, the magic number, as always, is eight, but numbers are just a suggestion. So a couple more, a couple less, pause me, play around. You know, I don't care. All right, we're gonna start with our lunge. So I'm gonna start on one side, my right side, and I'm gonna set up with support on my left. That can be the wall, that can be a chair. The important thing here is that we want to imagine we're keeping our legs on our parallel train tracks. So when I'm moving with my inner leg, my leg that's gonna be towards the wall, I'm leaning into the wall to replace it. Cool? So that's gonna look like this. I'm pressing into my right foot, leaning into my left side, into my support. I'm stepping back and down. I'm pressing up through my heel, through my glute to stand, okay? If you're worried about your knees at all, think about keeping that knee right where it is, stacked over the ankle, hinging back from here, squeezing the glute, pressing the heel up from the bottom, okay? These can be as deep or as shallow as you like, and there'll be a lot of work even without weight if you wanna try it that way. We're going eight, 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 eight. Sound good? I'm gonna add some weight on my outside shoulder, or if you like, you can hang it next to you, sliding down the outside of the ankle. Here we go, pressing into that wall. I'm sitting back and down, pressing up to stand. <laughs> sitting back and down pressing up through that heel to stand. You'll notice I'm keeping this teeny tiny hinge in my hip, not coming up all the way, pressing hips forward, locking out, yeah? You might think about this like going up on an escalator instead of an elevator. You might think about peering over a cliff at the top. You might think about pulling away from the floor like you're super glued down. Woo, whatever works. Here we go, last one, best one. Exhale, press it up. Ooh, I'm switching sides. These are already spicy. Okay, full reset. I'm planting through my left foot, leaning my right side into the wall. Here we go. Sitting back and down. Pressing up to stand. Sitting back and down. Pressing up to stand. I'm thinking about my back pockets moving together, my whole pelvis moving as one unit. Whew, halfway there. This is three. Last two. And last one. And up, good, take a little break. Shake it out, put the weight down, yeah. Grab a sip of water, have yourself a little dance break, switch the laundry over from the washer to the dryer. Whatever you need to do, we're gonna get back into it. In just a few seconds, let me rack back up. Here we go, starting with our first side. In three, two, one, here we go. Sitting back and down, pressing up to stand. Inhale, soften, lower. Exhale, push and press. Whew. Sitting back and down. Exhale, pressing up. You can experiment with how far back you step. The only thing to watch is that when you step your foot back, you don't drag that inner hip with it. That, uh, that inside hip, not just your inner hip, your whole hip. You get it. Keep your front pockets nice and square. Here we go, last one. Exhale, press. Let's swap. Second side, and then we're going down to the floor. It's gonna feel so good. Let's do this. Sitting back and down, pressing up to stand. Sitting back and down, pressing up to stand. This 
This is three. This is four. Good. Stomp the floor away from you. Use that big exhale. Last three. Last two. Last one, best one. Here we go. And up and let it go. We're moving down to the floor. Again, I'm gonna use my one heavier weight. You can also use two weights for this. We're going into a chest press. We're gonna take this from a floor bridge. So I've got my weight up overhead. I'm gonna lift up into my bridge and hold here. This is allowing me to be on the flat part of my shoulder blades. I'm gonna lower the weight down towards the bottom of my rib cage. Exhale, press up, okay? Whew. Again, two weights, same deal. You can watch that your elbows come down by your sides and not up by your armpits, somewhere in between here. We're squeezing the armpits like you got half a lemon in each and you're gonna juice them as you press forward. If you'd rather swap this out for a push-up, go ahead again. I don't care. I've said that so many times in this series. All right, we're gonna press for eight. Then we're gonna lower hips back down to the ground. I'm gonna switch to holding my weight by the butt. <laughs> I'm gonna reach my arms back overhead Exhale, bring it up to the sky. Reaching back, controlling that weight down towards the floor. Exhale, pushing down. We're getting into the back here. I know that feels a little bit counterintuitive because we're on it, but that's what's happening. If you can sync up with the breath, reaching from the shoulder on your inhale, inhale, reaching from the shoulder on your inhale, and again, from the shoulder, not from the elbow, moving the whole arm like one solid piece, pressing through the air to come back up on the exhale, big Pilates style, yeah? You're gonna get so much out of this, it's gonna feel so good. Let's start with that chest press. I'm gonna bring my weight up and over me. I'm gonna squeeze glutes, plant feet, lift up to that bridge hold. Here we go, lower it down. Exhale, press. Elbows do not have to touch the floor. They won't go farther than the floor, so it's a nice little guide for us. Ooh. But they might not get anywhere near the floor, and that is a-okay. Here we go. Halfway through, down and up. Keep that plank. Hold that bridge. We go two more. Last one. And up, lower the hips down. You might keep the dumbbell like this. I know I'm gonna lose my grip on it, so I'm gonna switch to holding the end. Here we go, planting the feet, unless of course you'd like to bring them up to the tabletop. We reach back from the shoulder, overhead, dip, 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 dip. Exhale, bring it. Woo! Inhale, reach back. Exhale, push down, bring it up. Good, inhale, reach. Exhale, pull. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull, four more. Really reach, open up your armpits. Exhale, pull it over. Good, reach. Exhale, pull. Last two. Oh, and last one. And up. I'm going to bend my elbows, lower my weight slowly and safely to the side. If you need a little break from being on the ground, let's roll it off to the side and press it up, okay? The only reason I'm adamant, I'm adamant about using the one dumbbell here is trying to keep this as travel friendly as possible. If you feel like you don't have enough room for your body, if you feel like your shoulders are getting stuck or anything, and you have the option to use two weights instead, do it. Got it? All right. Here, let's go one more time. Back to the chest press. Here we go. Oh, I'm going down to the floor. I'm gonna swing this thing up overhead. I'm gonna push it up as I roll down. Plant the feet, lift up to my bridge. Let's do this. <laughs> We inhale, lower, exhale, press, inhale, lower, 
exhale, press. If you'd like to bridge along as we go, go for it. Or you can hold, whichever is more comfortable. Good, four more. Just a little bit more, my friends, and then we are done for today. Here we go, last two. Exhale, and last one. Exhale, press, let's roll it down. I'm gonna switch my grip on the dumbbell one last time. Again, if you want it, extra core challenge, pick those feet up off the floor, find your tabletop. Here we go, inhale, reach back. Exhale, pull over. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, pull over. I'm trying to keep my bottom ribs relaxed. It's hard. <laughs> I don't know if I said that these are called pullovers. Uh, these are called pullovers. They're exactly what they sound like. Isn't that crazy? Here we go. Last three. Last two. Very last one, best one. Exhale, pull, slowly bring that weight down. Let's roll off to the side and press ourselves up. Whew, that was a spicy one. Give me a high five. Three, two, one, bada boom. Leave me a comment, share this with a friend if you feel like it. I hope you had fun today and I'll see you next time. Bye.